Two strikeouts and a ground out, and that is how Connecticut now faces uh, itself in the field against Rhode Island. Let's meet the team that is 5-0. and oh. I'm John Broda, uh, Cumberland, Rhode Island, coach of uh, Cumberland League baseball team, and this is our team. I am Coach Cal from Cumberland, Rhode Island. Just want to say hi to all the family and friends back home. Hi, Coach Baldelli, Cumberland Nationals Little League, Rhode Island. Hi, my name is Ryan O'Neill. I'm the center fielder and pitcher. My favorite player is Rocco Baldelli. Hi, my name is Jake Salisbury. I play left field, and my favorite player is Rocco Baldelli. Hi, my name is Nick Oscola. I play second base. My favorite baseball player is Rocco Baldelli. I'm Nick Provost. I play right and center, and my favorite baseball player is Rocco Baldelli. Hi, my name is Justin Nebraska. I'm a catcher, and my favorite baseball player is Rocco Baldelli. Hi, I'm Leo Lake. I play third base, and my favorite player is Rocco Baldelli. Hi, I'm Tyler Calibro. I pitch and play infield, and my favorite player is Rocco Baldelli. Hi, my name is Spencer Ross. I play left field, and my favorite baseball player is Rocco Baldelli. Hi, my name is Nate Payne, and I play right and left field. My favorite baseball player is Rocco Baldelli. Hi, my name is Dante Baldelli. I play second base, and my favorite baseball player is Rocco Baldelli. Hey, I'm Josh Broder. I play shortstop, and my favorite player is Rocco Baldelli. Hi, my name is Michael Bogolowski. I play third and pitcher, and my favorite player is Rocco Baldelli. Hi, my name is Jackson Monte. I pitch and play the infield, and my favorite baseball player is Rocco Baldelli. Go all right. Do you think you have to say Rocco Baldelli? I think they believe it. I think they do, too. There's Dante Baldelli, the brother of Rocco Baldelli, and there's uh, Rocco's and Dante's father there in the in the background. And you see Rocco Baldelli, for those uh, unfamiliar with him, six Major League Baseball seasons, uh, currently with the Rays organization at Triple-A level. He, of course, played for uh, the Red Sox as well. So the Baldelli family here in full force tonight. Dante will hit second. John Broder leads off. He's the shortstop who just made that nice play. Palabro, the pitcher, will hit third. This is a very good hitting team that's batting over 330. Whoa. And the first pitch from Nick Nardone to Broder is in for a ball. Nick Nardone, Nardone pitches out of a stretch at all times. Very aggressive, as I mentioned. He'll quick pitch it, and he did right there. That's called the strike. Josh Broder looked real smooth on that ground ball. He came up with a very big defensive play One against more. Connecticut eight days ago in the sixth Whoa. inning. And it's in the dirt. Really a wedge gem type play, which kept the runner off base, and they eventually won the game two to nothing. Little Josh is one of the finest little 12-year-old fielders I've seen. He makes all the plays, and he does it easily. Had an account two and one. That one is on the ground, and it's through. The first hit of the game is Rhode Island's, and it's Josh Broder. So, they only had three hits against Nick Nardone in their first meeting. They have one now. Nardone in five innings, three hits, two runs, no earned runs in that game against Rhode Island. He's got very, very good numbers. And, and like, uh, like Tyler Calabro, a big kid. Yeah, it says 5'5". Five, five. I'll bet you he's taller than that. He's grown since they measured it last time. There with a slider on the first pitch, throwing him off, off uh, stride a little with the slider because they're looking for that fastball first pitch. They told us they would. This is Dante Baldelli 0-1. Oh, oh. That ball's in the dirt. Good block behind the plate by Connor Daly. Some numbers on Baldelli. He's hitting 583. He has at oh, least one hit in every game. All five games played here. And again, had that key hit against Connecticut. Whoa. That ball just misses. Two out single in the fifth Five inning. Five well, you see the, runs to score. And you see the coaches telling him, make sure you get set. Get in there and hurry and look up because he's going to be pitching. The 2 1. Out of breaking ball. Swings and misses. Strike two. Rare in Little League, you're going to see anybody straight steal. You can't leave the base at first until the ball crosses home plate. Oh. Just misses down, will go full. If the ball gets past the catcher, Bobby, and the backstop's very close here, and you can get a quick ricochet. So three, in order two. to steal a base, you really got to be sure it gets away. 3-2, ball really fouls it out of play. Threw that breaking ball on 3-2, and, and little Dante Bardelli was right on it, fouled it off. We're going to see what happens here. This is a very good matchup and a very competitive team. 3-2, Baldelli all over that breaking ball as well. Catch. 
Time to get in the box. You don't have to look for a sign on three and two and no outs. Get in, get set, Dante. The pitch is going to be coming. Stay back and stay down. Those are the words of his dad. That ball is swung on and missed strike three. And Nick Nardone has his first strike out of the game. Take a look at the Connecticut defense behind Nick Nardone. Nate Klein, Tommy Ryan, Billy McGrath, and Jack Quinn around the infield. They have two substitutes that they'll need to get into the game for an inning. Patrick Calabrese, Chris Howell, and Patrick O'Leary left to right in the outfield. First pitch swing is the opposing pitcher, Tyler Calabro. And as you often see, the pitcher is batting third. Yeah. Both teams have that. It's usually a mark of the best player on the team is batting third and pitching, and you're riding him to the finish line. Another breaking ball. Look down at the first base up for an appeal. No swing. Calibro is four for 16. He's got a couple of doubles in the regional being played here in Bristol, Connecticut. Fastball in for a strike. Boy, your timing as a hitter, you're right. You've got to be ready. He gets it. And as soon as, as soon as you step in, he's throwing. As soon as that arm comes down from the umpire, he's pitching. And that's going to be a challenge for the Rhode Island team. Sure is. Strike three, the second consecutive strikeout from Nick Nardone. Calibro is down. Good fastball at 69 miles an hour. And as I mentioned earlier, folks, that is the equivalent of just about an 89, 90 mile an hour pitch in the major leagues, which gives the hitter four tenths of a second to react. Not a lot of time. It's about a, the time you, it takes to blink your eye. This is where you need the Derek Jeter to get your hand up until you're set. None of them are doing it. And Nardone is just firing away here. This is Jax DeMonte, the cleanup hitter who plays first. Hit 429, four for four, and five RBIs in the game against Massachusetts. There's a good breaking ball in for a strike. Remember the old records you used to play at 33? This one feels like it's spinning at 70. He's, it's flying. It's really at a fast pace. And I know his, his adrenaline is really pumping, but this is his style. He wants to be aggressive. He wants to rush the hitter, and he's doing it. The one is in for a strike, and I realize our audience, especially the little kids, don't know what a record is anymore. Oh, yes. But it's, it's the way we used to listen to music when we were kids. On a Victrola. Right. How about that for a word? Turn Look it up, it up kids. 3-2 to DeMonte. Lays off it. That's ball four. And Brodeur moves down into scoring position. DeMonte is on with the first walk issued by Nardone. Victrola being the turntable that you would put the record on that would spin around and then you put the arm with the needle in it that would actually project the music to the room right now they're all have enough of that you're they're very the confused needles. out there they have no idea <laughs> uh, justin debrosco who gave the uh, herb brooks miracle speech before the game started takes a ball high chance for rhode island to break through here in the first and get on the board 24th pitch of the first inning. A lot of his pitches are up. How come? They're up now because he's tired. He has been accelerating the pace. He's been rushing. And he's a little tired, Nick Nardone, right now, and elevating the ball. Took a deep breath and threw that one in for a strike. It's 2-1 and one now. Nebraska, two hits in his last two games and had a home run against Vermont to pull his team within one. That one is called a strike at the letters. Count evens up at 2-2. Two and two. Two two with two on ground ball top hot nice play at short. Wow, super play by Tommy Ryan who flipped to Billy McGrath covering, and Fairfield's defense prevents any runs from scoring. Cleanup hitter is coming up now when we come back for Connecticut zero zero at the end of one.